Well, say goodbye to the 30 series because it just became completely irrelevant. Let's talk about it. So just yesterday, I talked about how the RTX 4090 had an absolutely incredible 19,000 score leak in Time Spike Stream that was posted over on Twitter by the leaker Compite 7 Kimi, and as absolutely insane as a 91% uplift over the RTX 3090 is, well, some people just still weren't satisfied. Now, do keep in mind he said over 19,000, so it could actually be even faster than 91% over a 3090 Founders Edition. And to me, that's absolutely insane in a massive uplift and probably one of the the biggest jumps we have ever seen, but like I mentioned, some people weren't as impressed. Well, if you were one of those people, I got some great news for you because it looks like the RTX 4090 could be getting even faster. That's right, you heard me correctly. And let's go ahead and take a look because this information comes from, once again, the leaker Compite 7 Kimi, and here's what he had to say about it. Quote, I know some people are disappointed with this score. Don't worry, it's just a very conservative score with low TGP, low frequency, and L2 cut. 19,000 plus is just a beginning. Then below that, the Twitter user Pete2097 responded by saying, so this isn't the 800 watt B score? And Compite 7 Kimi responded by saying, of course not. So yeah, it looks like we're probably taking a look at a 450 watt version of the RTX 4090, which to be honest with you guys, 450 watts is probably going to be the final TGP for the regular version of the RTX 4090. Now, of course, there's going to be some AIB models with higher TGPs, and those ones will, of course, score higher as they are going to have some higher clock speeds to boot. So yes, there will be some faster versions of the RTX 4090. However, if you're looking forward to something like a 600 watt GPU, which I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to run a 600 watt GPU, but if you are one of those people, well, yes, that GPU probably will exist and it is going to be the RTX 4090 Ti. So I did see some people comparing like overclocked 3090 Ti's or even like 3090 Ti's on liquid nitrogen to the RTX 4090 score and going, see, it's really not that much faster. But uh, first of all, that's super disingenuous to go ahead and take the top skew of the RTX 30 series plus an insane overclock and compare it to just a preliminary score out of a 450 watt version of the RTX 4090. Uh, but not only that, the 4090 Ti is gonna be even faster. So if you're one of those people who's worried that the RTX 4090 isn't gonna be a massive leap over the RTX 3090 or even 3090 Ti, rest assured it's gonna be absolutely insane. And to drive that point home, I wanna go ahead and take a look at yet another leak in terms of performance of the RTX 4090. In fact, this one looks to be the RTX 4090 Ti and it shows just how fast the RTX 40 series can really be. In fact, it's so fast that in my opinion, it makes the entire RTX 30 series, at least in terms of maximum performance, completely irrelevant. It really, really leaves them in the dust, guys. So this information comes from the Twitter user AGF, and here's what he had to say about it. Got first in-game score, full AD 102 at high power draw, in control, ultra 4K ray tracing plus DLSS, reaches 160 plus FPS. Don't know which CPU, RAM or GPU clock, but it looks very high to me. What does a 3090 Ti score in this benchmark? Then the Twitter user Hispan actually responded by going ahead and saying, 3090 in control with the same settings does 72 frames per second on average, so a 2.2x gain. And then he goes ahead and puts an image of the RTX 3090 with those similar settings right below his comment. And as you can see, yeah, it's looking like the 4090 Ti is going to be a lot, lot faster. So there you have it, guys. If you've been worried that the RTX 40 series isn't going to be a massive leap over the 30 series yeah, it definitely is going to be because 2.2x the amount of performance is something that's absolutely mind blowing to me. And that does actually lend some credence to some of the earlier rumors that a really high power version of an RTX 4090 Ti and the full 8102 die could potentially be over 2x the amount of performance of an RTX 3090. Some very, very impressive stuff. But wait, I have some even more information about this GPU as Compact 7 Kimi responded by saying this. Thanks. I don't know how to discuss this 800 watt beast. In fact, it's its PCB is very small, but its cooler is very huge. Wait for your good news. And then VideoCards.com responded below that by saying full 8102 is already being tested. And Compite 7 Kimi responded by saying it started some weeks ago. I don't know the details. So there you have it. Apparently the full 8102 die is going to draw 800 watts, which is absolutely insane and way too much power in my opinion. In fact, if you're wondering if there's going to be an RTX 4090 Ti like Founders Edition with 800 watts, 
I don't think so. Now, are there going to be some AIB cards with some extra overclocking that could hit 800 watts? Yeah, there probably will be if you go ahead and you drag that power limit all the way to the right. But to be honest with you guys, I don't think even with overclocking that a Founders Edition 4090 Ti is going to even allow you to draw 800 watts. That's an insane amount of power. Only the top, top AIB models will probably even allow you to draw that much power or maybe with some BIOS flashing because in all honesty, guys, 600 watts is already insane. So 800 watts is just, in my opinion, pushing it way, way too far and the majority of power supplies just simply won't be able to handle it so if you're wondering yes i do believe there will be a 450 watt version of the rtx 4090 that will be a massive leap over the 3090 and then there will be a 600 watt version of the rtx 4090 ti with those full 18,000 cuda cores it's going to be a massive leap over the rtx 3090 ti and don't worry it'll be insanely expensive as well so yeah there you have it if you're worried about the performance don't be, these cards are going to be insane. But hey, that's just when I think, how fast do you think the RTX 4090 and 4090 Ti are really going to be? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.